part two, chop a medium onion and some garlic cloves. This is how it should look like. This is four cloves of garlic. The next thing we will need is yellow Peruvian pepper. We will need two of these. This is ají panca y ají mirasol. You will hydrate these and then make it into a paste like this. These are all of the ingredients just for the sofrito. Next, we will use something called dried yellow potato. It's a Peruvian product. You will need to soak it overnight and this would be how it looks like. For protein, we will use two different types of meats. We have beef and chicken. In this recipe, you can also use pork and rooster. Next, we will use a little bit more than half a cup of red cooking wine. Last but not least, we will need a handful of parsley. Now, let's get to it. In a preheated pan, we will put in some oil. Once the oil is hot, we will sear the meat. While the meat meat is searing, we will add a pinch of salt. Remove the beef and sear the chicken. Once your chicken is seared, remove it. Add the onions and the ají amarillo. Mix it well to pick up all the glaze in the bottom. You have to cook the onions until they are slightly caramelized. You need patience because this recipe is all about building the flavors. When the onions are to this point, add the garlic and cook for a minute. At this point, add the mix of ají especial. Mix well. You know the sofrito is done when the oil is getting separated from the onions. Now you add the beef. The red wine. Not all of it. Mix well. Pour in the cinnamon and spices. Mix well. You then add two cups of water. Mix well. Make sure to get everything from around the pot so it can cook evenly. Cover and cook for 10 minutes. 10 minutes have passed, now you have to add the chicken and the rest of the ingredients.
add the crushed peanuts. Add the rest of the wine. The parsley. Now add two more cups of water. Mix it. We will add another cup of water because the dehydrated potatoes will keep on needing water and you have to make sure to mix it so it doesn't stick in the bottom of the pan. You can check it every three to five minutes. Close it and let it cook for three minutes, then go and check on it. Something that you have to add is about 30 grams of chocolate. This chocolate has peanuts. About three minutes have passed and you can now smell the peanuts. And the dried potato. Make sure to move it from the bottom to make sure that nothing sticks. The water has started to reduce so now it's important to keep on checking on it over and over. At this moment put the heat from high to medium low. At this point, it's getting creamy, but you still have to keep moving it from the bottom, like this. We just added three quarters of a cup because the potatoes are not tender enough of water. About 15 minutes cooking and a medium low heat is done. Now we will take out the cinnamon and the parsley. We will now add the chopped peanuts. This is for crunch. You have to mix it. You will now take the potatoes and check if they are tender enough. It is good. Perfect. You will now taste the sauce to make sure it doesn't need any more salt or spices. Perfect. Turn it off. This is the final product. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy!